welcome back to my channel it's Marisa so I hope everyone is having a great day today so before I get into all this stuff if you don't know what all this is I am going to explain to you right now let me just go over here and show you how this is drying this is not 100% dry yet um, I'm making this video the same night and I stuck my finger in there again <sighs> I tried to, you know, pop it off of here, and it happened again. I never learned. I never would just let it sit. But I just want to show you how it dried. Go over to the light a bit. So it came out really nice, except for my boo-boo. But anyway, so yeah, it came out really cool, and I'm, I am happy with it. The, this is the leftover pour, um, and I'll link the card right here. Okay. So if you don't know what these are, these are acrylic skins, and what they where they come from is from here, actually. So when I do pore paintings, um, a lot of times, as you see on this mat, and I'm going to remove this right now. Let me move this here. It's pretty dry. It's like 90% dry. I'm going to move this thingy. Okay. So... These are the paint drippings that I get when I do my acrylic pores, okay? And let's just take one off now. It's really easy to take off because this is a silicone mat. And that's, I usually try to gather like a lot of them, like here. But just for the sake of showing you guys. And that's simple as that. So, like, literally none of this paint goes to waste. Ooh, there's actually, I think, some glitter in there. That's cool. Yep, some glitter's in there. Yeah, I told you I was the glitter queen. <laughs> anyway, so that's how I get the skins. Real simple. So, uh, quite a while ago, I saw Mixed Media Girl making these. And that was the first time I ever saw anyone making these. Um, but these are are uh, pendant trays and basically and I got a whole bunch of them off of Amazon I got 70 of them and they're the same shape but they're all different colors you got some gold here silver like kind of like a burnished silver you know like um, like a like a bronzy type of a you know, brass looking ones. I like the black ones. Those are really cool. Some shiny silver and some more shiny silver. And then I got some cord off of Amazon. I got two of these, uh, I don't know how many yards it is, but it was pretty inexpensive. Again, off of Amazon. And just to, you know, hang them. Now these two are wet. I literally just made them. Like literally... 10 15 minutes ago and these I made a few days ago all right that's what that one looks like yeah I'll just do this and they came out really nice so you know I don't have this is a really easy way of doing it I do not have any fancy jewelry making uh, tools or anything what I literally have now, I think Mixed Media Girl used a die cut, like a metal die cut, like a circular one. I don't have any dies, okay? I have none of that stuff. What I do have is a pair of scissors, okay? It may take a little longer to do it my way, but you could still do it. And I'm sure these are the wrong scissors, but these are like the thinnest tip ones I have. I also, not really technically like a crafter, so I don't have... 10 million pairs of scissors and I'm really not a jewelry maker so I don't have any jewelry making material but I do have an imagination which is really all you need okay so that way you know none of this I can make you know how many of these I can make like just off of these two like tons and tons so the first step really is to pick an area that you think is interesting now, I was thinking in here, like for St. Patty's Day, I think that's a really pretty section. It's really glossy. It's a little too thick in this section right here. It'll kind of be hard to kind of 
make it lay down in there and this part right here is a little flatter um, there was another section here that I thought was kind of cool so you just pick little areas that you think are really interesting looking like even this little piece here um, yeah see like this is another section look how pretty that is and that's big enough for one of these oh yeah and then this section here I thought was really cool this red and gold area um, let's see where else like even right here so all you have to do is pick a section that you find is um, that you really like and then you just literally what I have been doing is just cut it out and, um, and I'm gonna show you how to I do it but basically you just take one out let's see if I can get one of these bags open there we go Alrighty here. There. So what to do is take that piece and keep on trimming around until, and then what I do is I stick my, my thumb in and I hold it in and it's kind of sticky. Okay, because this is like dried acrylic paint, but it's still sticky enough. And I kind of just keep on turning it around, trimming it with the scissors until I get it to the shape that um, pretty much fits in and then I'll kind of push it down in my thumb here and I kind of really press it in and believe me it could take a beating like don't worry about ripping it because it's kind of the paints thick and it's tough and it's dried but it's sticky enough that you kind of can play with it and even stretch it a little bit and I keep on trimming it and then basically just add a little of this glue. Now this is my main tool here. This beautiful stick. Again, I still have no idea what the heck it's for. But I just take a little of the glue and I just spread it around. I spread it on the sides and then I'm gonna push it in. And that's really it. And then after it's done, this is the E6000. Then after it's done, I'm going to put a couple like dollops of the glue on top of the skin that's cut and then it basically self levels and that's really it and let it dry it's as simple as that so I'm going to do one today and yeah that's what we're going to do today I just want to do something different but also still kind of use what I've already created here like this is actually an art piece in itself it's pretty awesome I love that and I love that none of this stuff goes to waste like even though like I did just did the leftover paint pour so I still didn't waste any paint and then you could still use all this stuff all the drippings that you think are garbage they're not garbage now before uh, I got all this stuff and I decided that I was gonna like actually do it because at first I was like I don't have the stuff um, I actually threw away a lot of the, a couple of these piles of uh, the skins and I actually got on video and asked if anyone wanted them but no one had responded so at the time I just chucked them because I really didn't think I was going to get into doing all this but I was like you know what I want to do something different and I don't want to waste this stuff and this is actually really pretty and also because I am trying to um, you know uh, possibly like I said over the summer depending now on whatever's going on out there but hopefully by the summer you know things will get better um, but I want to also prepare and make some stuff but even like give away as gifts sell them whatever you know I just like to do things with my hands I like to make things so this is something new for me um, to do and it's a lot of fun so before we get started, I just want to show you one thing. I'm just going to bring this guy back up for a second. Uh, thanks to my wonderful friend, Sarah, who I mentioned the other day, Sarah Ravenue. Um, she sent me some money on my PayPal to support me. I thought that was so sweet. So I just wanted to show you guys one of the things. I had ordered actually some more cord, but in a more natural color, like a beige color, but they sent it to New Jersey. Don't live in New Jersey. I live in New York. My address was pretty clear. But anyway, so I canceled that order um, and I wound up getting something else. Amazon refunded my money. Literally, two, like a couple of hours later, I got the money back and I'll show you what I bought. 
uh, when I get that. But I got some more coasters because again, I want to have like more mold so I can make multiple ones at the same time. That way, when I'm mixing resin, I can mix, um, because it's a lot of work to mix resin. So, and you know, I can like actually make like four different molds if I wanted, you know, four different sets of coasters. Like that big one I made the other day, the Mardi Gras one. Um, I do have another one that has more like the sections. So I actually can make four different molds at the same time. And I have to keep on mixing resin, mixing resin, mixing resin. Um, I could just sit down and work for a couple of hours and, you know, have some fun, get it done. But this one is really cool because it, to the center part here, it's an extra piece. So you pour it right in here and you could actually put the piece in the center and they all connect, which is awesome. So it could be one big piece or you could take the piece out and it's four separate pieces. So this was like $15.99, not just this one, this one and this big huge one. And this is the one I thought, I keep on forgetting, I, I actually thought I was just getting this one. I keep on forgetting that it was two. I can get it out. Hold on guys, sorry. There we go, got it. Alright, come on, get out you. And it's by Let's Rise again. So this one it has a really, really, really cool shape. If I could get that in the light. Here we go. That's a really weird shape. See that? It's I don't know what's like a diamond, whatever it is. And then this piece is kind of cool. And see, it's like this little center piece here with little diamond shapes. And again, it has the center piece where you can connect all four pieces together and use it as one huge coaster, or you could take the piece out and separate it. So I actually thought that was really, really interesting um, that people can use it. I can use it whoever, um, you know, wants to buy them or give it as gifts, like I said, in two different ways. Either you use it as one huge one or four separate coasters. So I thought that was really awesome. So well, let's get started. And this is a really a cool, quick little idea. Um, it does probably take me a little longer because I don't have the die where it like gives me that um, immediately gives me that you know that round, the circle uh, that I need. Um, but it is it's still a lot of fun. I kind of like to sit there snipping uh, the little pieces off to kind of make it fit. So you can still do it without anything extra except for a wooden stick and a pair of scissors, and then for like eight to ten dollars, I got 70 of them in all different colors. So you could do a lot with this. All right guys, so I will be back in a minute and let's get started. Alright guys, so the first step is I just choose the section that I want and I will just cut out the whole section um, and then I could choose what little part I want to use because some parts are a little thicker than others. You can kind of push down on it and make certain sections that are thicker flatter. But yeah, that's it. I just cut out the whole section and that is it. Okay, so now I have the section that I want, and I'm using the actual tray as a guide um, just to cut around it. And I just keep on snipping, and then I'm gonna shift the uh, little piece of acrylic skin around and just keep on making, you know, as close to a full circle as possible. And yeah, I just keep on shifting it because that little uh, hook there is getting in the way that's why I'm moving it around using the actual tray as a guide and then after I'm gonna like press down on it so that it will fit it does not have to be a perfect circle 
just keep on snipping and snipping and snipping and I do apologize my camera is a little out of focus I hope you guys can see that but yeah I keep on snipping until it pretty much fits and that is really it and just snip 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 you can even snip after it is all dry okay so now I'm just you know making a little last snips there just to get the edges off I just want those edges kind of flat and smooth and I'm just pressing down on it just to make sure it fits and it covers the whole surface of the tray I thought the gold was pretty with the green especially for St. Patty's Day so I'm just pressing down and then smoothing out the edges and now taking it out and we are going to add some E6000 to the bottom of the tray and I'm going to use that stick you can use any stick you want you can use a toothpick you can use like a little shish kebab stick but I love this tool and I'm just spreading the glue around and I'm getting the whole surface uh, the sides as well just getting all around that tray okay that's that now I'm, gonna, I'm just showing you that you can use either side of that skin if you want because they are literally both different so now I'm just pressing it down onto the tray now I'm going to use the stick and press down on the edges of it just lightly you can be a little rough with it um, you don't want to puncture it but actually that skin is really tough so you're just gonna press down um, I use both uh, parts of the stick depending on the thickness of the skin and I'm just pressing down the edges there just to make sure that it's stuck on there really nice you can wipe off any excess glue that pops out and then you know sometimes it's a little uh, edge there that I find to be rough so I'll just snip it off now I'm taking more of the E6000 okay and I am going to just drop it right on top of that skin there get a really nice amount on there and you can always wipe off the excess but I get a nice amount on there okay and that's that like I said the E6000 is self leveling so you don't really have to do anything but I'm just shifting around the glue and covering the whole surface with the glue so there's no little dents, there's no little areas where it does not have that glue. And then once it is pretty much covered, it just self-levels. You don't have to do anything else. There's literally, do, do not torch it, you don't have to do anything. But that's really it. And it is done. It is perfect, it is pretty, and we are done. Hey guys, so I'm sorry my camera doesn't, on my end, it's not focusing that well. But this one is dry, you know, and it basically, it self-levels the glue, kind of like the self-leveling resin. So I got the cord, and I just put it around my own neck, and this is perfect thickness for this. And what I do... Is it go and then let me move this out of the way so I don't hit it let me move this out of the way and let's move this out of the way all right so I just kind of take it and I make a knot down here this is how I do it kind of keep it give it like a little more finished look sorry and kind of do one of those and that's it and then I'll make a knot up here so I make it a little longer than um, you know uh, than it really needs to be because I put the two knots and I like this cord it's like a black um, nice thick 
Um, I think this is a 2mm cord. They have 1, they have 0.5. Yeah, this is the thicker one. And that's it. It's nice and sturdy. And that's what it'll look like when you're done. So, here it is. So, it's pretty much self leveled already. And then you just leave it alone, let it dry. And that is it. That is it for the project today, guys. It's kind of quick and it's just a nice, easy, and um, the only, the longest part it takes is to, you know, cut around. I kept on cutting and cutting, but look, it's perfect. See? You don't even need a die, but if you want to do it that way, that's cool. Me, I don't have them and I'm not really going to use them for anything. Um... I don't do paper crafts like crazy like that, so for me to get a dies and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I could get one if I wanted. But anyway, and then I actually cut this one. And yeah, you can use, here's the shiny side, and you can use the matte side, it's just as nice. So if you want that kind of matte look, uh, but also the glue is going to make it look glossy anyway. But yeah, you could use either side. Either side is really cool. So yeah, those are... That is just a real quick and simple way to do some jewelry to reuse your, um, not to reuse, but to use the um, pink drippings and not let anything go to waste. And it makes some really nice stuff for you, yourself, friends, to sell, whatever you want to do. So that's it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you the next time, guys. Bye!